uh, with me is Jamal Francis Sommelier, and we're going to talk about a great event coming up on September 29th. Uh, 6 30 p.m. is cocktail, 7 o'clock is dinner. What is the event? Uh, we are doing a wine pairing dinner with Lifford, our, uh, mm -hmm. our wine pairing partners. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a uh, six course meal with eight wines paired. Uh, we're going to be comparing some of the same grapes from different regions of the world. I like that. And this is at the Shore Club? This correct? is at the Shore Club, okay. correct. All right. So I want to talk about uh, the fact that you're going to be going to this event, which is the best way to really start to learn about pairing wines. But as a sommelier, you can tell me. Without even tasting a wine, in terms of types of wine, are you, do you know, have a general idea of what's going to go well with what? Yeah, I mean, there's some basic rules. Uh, your, your basic tenet is balance. Okay. You're trying to keep everything balanced. Um, you don't want your wine to overpower your food. You don't want your food to overpower your wine. So that's why you'd say with a, uh, like a heavy steak, a filet, you probably want a bigger wine. Exactly, okay. exactly. Um, now, we, when you're pairing with steak, and we're going to do let's, something yeah. today, do you want to jump into yeah, it? Yeah, let's do this that. This here's our uh, New York strip, 14-ounce okay. strip. Mm -hmm. So when you pair with, uh, with steak, what you're looking to do is balance the tannins of the wine with the uh, fat content or the marbling of the steak. Okay. So uh, a ribeye is very fatty, mm -hmm. very marbled, so you want a real high tannin kind of wine with that. Okay. Uh, filet, other side, lean, so a lighter one. What this are, one? What, so let me just stop you right there really quickly. What are tannins? Tannins, uh, if you're unfamiliar, it's more of a sensation than it is a flavor. Okay. So think about when you eat a banana that's not yet ripe and you get that sort of chalky yeah. sort of feel. That's tannin. Okay. So it's the what some people might describe as the drier taste. Exactly. It's happen? drying. It's it's kind of astringent and it, okay. uh, it it's sort of a coating. Okay. On your what teeth would and your what gums. would we pair with this steak? Now New York falls in between a, a fillet and a rib steak. So the wines I've chosen today uh, fall in between when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to tannin. Okay. So this is the Patalo Soyuz uh, from the Okanagan Valley. Not sure if you can see that there. Nice. So this is a Bordeaux blend. Bordeaux blend would be Cab Sauve, Merlot, yeah. Cab Franc, etc. So Cab Sauve is a very tannic uh, wine yep. and you use the Merlot and you use the uh, Franc to sort of mellow it out and that'll uh, give you the balance with the steak you're looking for. And survey says. Oh it's beautiful. Right. That is uh, you know not for the faint at heart if you're just starting out on red wine. No, no, right. you're going to want to ease into it. And oh. then you just got to let it happen in red wine. still happening right now. I love that. <laughs> All right. There you go. That's um, good. So I have a second wine, which I've paired with it. This is a Grenache Shiraz Mauved blend from Australia, from Torbrek. Okay. Um, again, same sort of thing. It, Shiraz is going to be, uh, well, in a warm climate, Shiraz isn't going to be super tannic. Okay. Grenache isn't going to be super tannic. The, the big thing on this one is it comes from the Barossa Valley, so very hot climate. Gives it a melonness. This one has a nice pepperiness you know to it. There's a pepperiness, but there's also a fruit in there too, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's your grenache. That's really nice. That's your grenache. Oh yeah, boy, I really like that too. Is that a beauty? Both of those are fantastic. So uh, 65 and 60 at our restaurant, all okay. reasonably priced. I didn't want to get too uh, ridiculous today. Right, of course, <laughs> I got. To. Well, you can get ridiculous if you're having a really fun uh, night. You right? know how fun that is. Right? Okay, rainbow trout. Rainbow trout. So trout's an interesting one. It's in the salmon family. Mm -hmm. um, so it can go either way. Uh, you could drink a light red with it. You could drink a heavy uh, white with it. So there's no real rules there with chicken and fish with reds and. Uh, there's no real rules. At the end of the day, drink what you want to drink. Okay. And you know, and 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 different wines are versatile so your buddy's having a steak and you're having the fish maybe a light red will do you okay and what but the deal that here is that you can actually pull more out of a meal by pairing it correctly is that definitely right? definitely yeah. the, the food is going to change the flavor of your wine okay the wine is going to change the flavor of your food what you have in your hand there is a uh, a rosé mm -hmm. made from pinot noir grapes from the Sancerre nice. region of France so uh, beautiful red fruit nice creamy body silky and uh, should bring out the sort of the sweetness of the shrimp and the crab, which is what we've mm. uh, stuffed our rainbow trout with. Pretty light too, like a very light. Exactly, very, very a beautiful good. summer wine, okay. great with salads. Look what we're learning, Jamal. I'm loving it. Okay, I, the last one. <laughs> we have no time, but I. I okay, here we go. One. Last wine. Santa Barbara Chardonnay, mm -hmm. oak Chardonnay. It'll help nice and buttery, nice hazelnut notes. Ooh, It'll really? help bring out the uh, the butteriness in the Bill Blanc sauce that's okay. at the bottom of our of okay. our stuffed trout. You can. I, I feel like Chardonnay has a wide range from. Chardonnay goes all over the place. Yeah. People who say they don't like Chardonnay just haven't found the one for them yet. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, that's this. fantastic. Uh, just these are so different and uh, all perfect for what you're describing. Now I just want to eat the meal. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe let, let, let's go to commercial, shall we? Yeah, right? <laughs> well, we eat. Okay, you know what? It's Sunday night, um, and it all starts at 6:30 with the cocktails. Don't that's miss right. that. On uh, September 29th, I that's believe right. is that's the right. date. Exactly. Okay. Cocktail right. hour at 6:30. We'll get into the food at seven, and it's gonna be great. Exactly. Jamal, thank you so much. We thank learned you. a lot today from our sommelier, uh, Jamal uh, Francis. Thank you very much. All right, let's.